Welcome to Rick's Corner, brought to you by Old School Labs, the brand I trust and the only one I put my name to. Use my code, Drayson12, on the link below. Rick's Corner, the man, the myth, the legend, now on with the show. Welcome to Rick's Corner. I have back today Patricia Summerlin from Glow and from many other things in life of entertainment and is making a big splash on uh, TV and YouTube and all the media. And she brought along a friend of hers that she dug up from the grave, <laughs> Forrest Grump <laughs> from Alabama. And um, Patricia's going to work with him to become a wrestling manager. This is his... his ideal dream and managers are few and far between nowadays and most of them you've got to hate because they're they're the spokesman for the wrestler and they create a lot of heat and you got to be almost disliked from day one and i already dislike him <laughs> so from that point it's going to work real well for him plus when he talks you'll see what i mean so uh, what are you gonna do with this guy i don't know i kind of like him I, yeah. I think it's going to work besides the fact that sunny can be cloudy which i will be doing in las vegas um, he's going to have his chance there to shine. He'll go out. I'm not quite sure what he's going to do, but he's going to be Forrest Grump. And you never know what you're going to get in this box of chocolates, right, Forrest? Exactly right. Um, well, let me ask you a question, Mr. Forrest Grump. What made you decide? You're actually a minister. A minister. I sure am. Minister. And this is where? Uh, in Mobile. I travel all over the place doing my ministry. How do you, how do you get your people to follow you? At, well, actually, I just go around there. It's not the same people, of course. <laughs> no, they, don't, they don't take a bus. No, no, we don't have we don't have that. Actually, what I've got to the point now, what I'm mostly doing is a whole bunch of weddings and funerals. Yeah, they're about the and same. <laughs> one wears white, one wears black. Exactly. But it's exactly. still a ceremony, and it comes to an end at some point. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And I have preached all over the place. I sure have. Yeah. In Florida, in uh, Mississippi, Kentucky. Uh, travel quite a bit with my preaching. Yeah, well, marriage can be a funeral. Oh, yes, yes. If you, if you pick the wrong person. Yeah, I'll guarantee you. I'll, gu I'll guarantee you that. I'll guarantee you that. Do or die. All right, so then you had these aspirations of becoming a manager for wrestling? I did. I used to work in professional wrestling in the 80s mm -hmm. and work for Rip Tyler. People may have heard of Rip Tyler, but I worked for him for quite some time. But I always wanted to be a wrestling manager, so here I am. Can I tell you a story? Yes, most certainly. Smoke, certainly? Okay, I certainly, I certainly will smoke. Um, uh, Rip Tyler, I worked with in Alabama on a match. Nice guy. He's now deceased, right? Correct. Correct. In other words, he's not living anymore. Exactly. Okay. Who's Zachary? <laughs> um, anyway, I, I worked with him, and he said... Actually, it gets him. I'm talking now for us. So... Um, so uh, in the South, wrestling was a little bit different than California. I mean, they, they had a different technique, and I had to prove myself every night to these redneck yokels that I could wrestle because they'd try to stretch me out, you know? But after a week, they accepted me, and everything worked out fine. So they booked me with uh, Rip Tyler in Dothan, Alabama, and a big arena. And so I said, what are we going to do? He says, we're going to go about 45 minutes. It's 45 minutes. I don't know if I can go that long. He says, oh, we will. We're going to do a bear hug. So I said, what else? He says, no, just a bear hug. <laughs> what do you mean? We're going to lock up and do a bear hug? That's it. We lock up and we do a bear hug for 45 minutes and then we take it home. I said, I can't believe this. He says, trust me, it'll work. And so we did. And he kept giving me a bear hug and giving me a bear hug and I'd break loose and he'd grab it again and he'd grab it again. And towards the very end, we finally did something. I can't imagine what it was and I got it on him and he gave up. And that and the, the crowd was going nuts because I got it back on him. But that was the psychology of the match at the time. It wasn't much of any holes, it was just a bear hug. And I've never done that in my life again, but it, it actually, the psychology of it worked. He had, he was a good wrestler. I mean, he knew what he was doing. He knew how to work the audience. I really liked him. He spoke very highly of you. And even at his funeral, he knew how to work the audience. <laughs> <laughs> Did you perform for his funeral? No. Nah, minister? No. No, I didn't do that. No, oh, I wasn't. Okay. Didn't do that. Who else did you work with in the South? Oh man, we had uh, Cowboy Bob Kelly mm -hmm. was around, if you remember him. We had Mike, the California hippie boy yet. Remember Sweet Daddy Banks? 
Ah, uh, that sounds familiar. I'm not so sure. Invader One, Invader Two, Don Carson. Don, no, Don Carson. I remember Don. Yeah, I worked for Don. Don was a nice guy. They called him the Big Seat. Have a glove on, and sometimes he, wear a mask. He, he says, "I'm going to give you some advice." He says, "You're good in the ring, and you know what you're doing." But he said, "You don't need to be here. Go back to where you live in L.A. and then have your your acting career." He says, "That's where it's for you." He was real nice about it. He says, "These guys are just a bunch of redneck cutthroats. They'll, they'll steal you blind." He was really nice about it. And I said, well, I will when I'm done, but right now we got a match. And we're working in this little hall. It's like a, they had a double doors that opened up to another hall after the match, and they had coffee and donuts and treats, which they don't normally do at wrestling shows. Mm. So I got a stick for the coffee and Danishes. <laughs> <laughs> great, great. But then it, it was, it was uh, Lee Fields and, oh, God, I can't remember all the guys that were down there. I think Lee Fields was the promoter. Now, Lee Fields also owned a racetrack down in Irvington. Right, down there. right. Bobby Fields. Bobby Fields, that's right. And they are related to the Fullers and the Goldens and the Welches, all of them. Yeah, they had a good group of talent wrestling down there. That's my first encounter with an alligator that hmm. bit my finger off. Yeah, do you, yeah, yeah, you had you to see that? that. I did not oh, know that. Yeah. That was a real Alabama slammer. Yeah, that right was. There. And then that I went was. to this really nice fish <laughs> restaurant with shrimp cocktails. and I mean, I just had a good time. And the, and the country kitchen, not the country kitchen, but the... Um, what did I say the restaurant was? Morrison's. Morrison's Cafeteria. Oh, my God. Morrison's Cafeteria. And, and the, thing, the thing wow. I found out about down there, when you wrestle down there and you're on TV, you're like a hero to the public because everybody watches it. And I went to a shopping mall and I went here and everybody said, hey, I saw you on TV, I saw you on TV, I saw you on TV. And it was like really, really treated me well. So I had a good time. And it was, uh, the South is nice. They actually loved us glow girls as well. That's where I went down in the South was Biloxi, Mississippi. We're on tour. And I was telling Forrest that, and Sonny went down. Beastie had me upside down in a pile driver, and boom. You went down? That was it. I <laughs> went down. <laughs> went down for the count. Didn't come up until um, I woke up there. But it's, mm. it's got a good, yeah. uh, it's got a good uh, population of wrestling fans. It's very strong. They call it Southern yeah. Fried Wrestling. That's what they call <laughs> it. Not Southern Fried Wrestling. Well, now no. it's all... <laughs> <laughs> now it's all WWE down there, right? Yeah, oh yes, they come through. They sure do. They sure do. When I was working there, we had uh, Ricky Morton and Robert Gibson, Rock and Roll Express, came through. Oh yeah. We had Chief Wahoo McDaniel came through. Yep. I got to meet him. He showed me a football ring he had. And we had a fella. I think I think he was known as Kamala Number Two that came mm. through there, and Don Fargo managed him. Oh, Don Fargo. Wow, well, man, okay. Don Fargo. We worked with him as well. Don Fargo was rough. Oh, yes. I, Seriously rough in just real life. He had a hard life. Oh, yes. He told me about that. He yeah. sure did. He sure did talk to me but about But they were that. all good guys behind the scenes. They were, yes. I, I had fun while I was down there, and, and I got pulled over by a, a cop down there. I was going to the match, one of the towns, and I was speeding. And I said, i got to go. I'm wrestling there. He said, well, the sheriff here doesn't like wrestlers. <laughs> they, they chew him out on a CB radio. I said, well, I don't have a CB radio. He said, where are you from? I said, L.A. Said, Hollywood? I said, maybe. <laughs> oh. Out. Yeah, they don't like guys from Hollywood either. I said, well, it's too bad. It's, I'm here. He says, I'm going to follow you and make sure you're wrestling. I don't know if I believe you. So he followed me all the way to the arena. And I went into the dressing room, changed my clothes. I come out to go into the ring, and I see him standing by the exit. And he goes, <laughs> he waves to me. <laughs> never, gave me a, never gave me a ticket. That's wonderful. So that's like a that's personal wonderful. escort. That's awesome. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He went yes, first class. Yeah. went first class. It was the fun. Roll. So when are you going uh, to start your career? Oh, I've actually already uh, was a manager in Las Vegas about two years ago for Matilda the Hun, which I consider that to be a great honor. Yeah, to yes. be with Matilda the Hun. Just and let's a say great prayers lady. for Matilda. When yes, we're at it. yes, um, indeed. She's in the hospital fighting still. Yeah, I know she is. Yeah, but she was a wonderful lady, and I loved working with her. Yeah. All right, that was your last time. That was my last time. When is your next time? Uh, won't be long, about a week maybe. Yeah. Oh, exactly. good. Exactly. I'll be back. Yeah. Again. In Las Vegas at the Cauliflower Alley Club. Oh, they have wrestling there, don't they? They do. Yeah. And they have wrestling by uh, Billy Blade. Awesome. And also, um, actually, Benny Espinoza. So that will be Sunday and Monday. So you got to come out and see it because we've got Forrest in there. And uh, that's going to be pretty exciting. And he has his shirts. I was just going to say, you have a t-shirt now with your face on it. Yes, indeed. Do you have another one with your ass on it, too? <laughs> <laughs> not, not quite. Not quite. <laughs> That's a cute shirt. That's the one you talked on the phone about. Yes, sir. Came yes, out sir. You should have got yeah. blue, though. I think blue would have been better. <laughs> yes, yes. You guys are blue. Very blue the, the, today. The blue twin. Like little, the boy, blue little boy blue. <laughs> um, well, thank you for coming here. I'm glad you're yeah. in California with all this nice weather. 
Yes, I enjoy being here. I'm I surely sure you do. Thank you. Do. Thank you. And thank you for sitting next to me and grabbing my leg. Was that you, Forrest? Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, I thought there was. I felt that little wind over to you. I'm like, okay, now. <laughs> was that Those ministers in Alabama, you got to watch out for. Is that him grabbing my leg? I like that. Mine are up here. <laughs> hands. All right, guys. Thank you for watching Race Corner, and we'll see you all next time, and good luck to Forrest with his okay. future as a managing uh, a wrestler manager. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Hope you enjoyed the video brought to you by Old School Labs. Use my discount code GRAYSON12 on the link below at oldschoollabs.com. Hey, everyone. Now you can have the Gold's Gym logo drawn by me, the artist Rick Drayson, personalized and made out to you and signed by me to frame and put on your gym wall or wherever you see fit to do so. It's a piece of bodybuilding history. It will never be duplicated again. It's the largest selling icon t-shirt logo in the world. And I'm the guy that drew it. And I will draw it for you. Just go to my website, rickdrayson.com and order there. You can pay through PayPal and it'll be sent out right away. And be sure to watch Rick's Corner for all the videos on bodybuilding, nutrition, fitness, pro wrestling, and anything that suits your interests as far as getting physically fit and being the best you can be from the golden era of bodybuilding. Baby, see you next time.